Hi, I'm Ed, and today we're going to take a look at moving data from a Mac to an iPhone 6s Plus. We're going to be using this Rave Power flashcard reader. This particular model is RP WD01. I want to preface this with I don't work for Rave Power, I'm not a representative for Wave Power, I'm not an agent. I don't own stock in their company. I'm just a consumer who needed, needed to move data from a Mac to an iPhone 6S, specifically video. I needed something that could work in a hurry and move it wirelessly. This is the manual that comes with this particular model. And as with all manuals that come with these devices, it's good up to a point. But it, did, it left out one specific thing that I discovered quite by accident. I thought I was going to be able to move data just through this wireless Wi-Fi device without anything else. I learned differently. You have to put an SD card in it. Once I figured that out, the thing works like a champ. I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded the software you'll need. If you haven't, go to ravepower.com, downloads, and you'll download FileHub both for the Mac and you'll choose the OS version and then you'll go to um, uh, the app store to download the app for your iPhone 6s but having done that we're going to open the it's called the RAV file hub app for the Mac this is what it looks like okay we're gonna go ahead and power up uh, the device power buttons here hold it till something turns blue and there it is the thing device is on and it's got its own Wi-Fi system now I've already switched from my regular uh, household Wi-Fi to the Wi-Fi produced by our Rave powered uh, device you'll want to do that before you start any of this process if you don't it ain't gonna work so here's our our, our window op that's been opened in a browser that we're going to work from. So we're going to want to upload something. And the, the upload, the occurrence of upload is from the Mac into this, which is the, I say into this, but into the SD card on our device. Choose browse. And I have created something on the desktop just for our purposes here. I open it, it loads it in, choose OK. It's uh, moving it to the SD card. No, I'm not moving it, sorry, copying it to the SD card. And congratulations, we put it on the SD card. When you're installing the app on your iPhone, it's going to ask the FileHub app, it's going to ask permission to access your photos. Choose Allow. If you don't, it won't save the data in any form that you can manipulate. You can't edit it or even view it. If for any reason you miss this step, you can always go to Settings after the app is installed. Go to Settings, uh, choose FileHub, and turn Photos on. Then you're good to go. Now, we take our iPhone 6S, open up the corresponding Ray RAV uh, file hub app, and we're going to choose download. And it loads it onto our, our iPhone 6S. Now I can squirt out of the house, go do my thing, Record more video, do some editing on, on this. When I get back, I reverse the process. It's back in the Mac where I can do serious editing and production. Hope this works for you too.